वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू आवर लेक्चर मैडम श्यामला एंड ऑल्सो टू माई बिलव क्लासमेट्स फॉर आवर प्रेजेंटेशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम गोइंग टू इंट्रोड्यूस अवर सेल्फ टू यू ऑल आई एम योग एंड दस आई दस एंड माई मैट्रिक नंबर इज टेन डी डी टी ट्वेंटी वन एफ And here are my team partner Vinoshan Kartikeyan. So today, me and my teammate going to present about a song well, which is going to make you feel excited. Why I say it will make you excited? Because this song well will helpful to computer user to make their work easier, and also it's quite interesting. Before start our presentation, I want to give some hint to you all to make some guesses about this song well. In this software, you can able to use guess operating system, which means you can use secondary OS in your PC, and also you can use more than two or even three Windows at the same time at the same PC. Also, it's quite interesting, right? Well, so now I hope you guys already guess about this software. All right, the software that we are going to present is called Virtual Box. So, without passing the time, let me share the steps on how to use the Virtual Box. Here we go. So, guys, for running the guest OS in your PC, you have to need virtual box. Okay, you have to install the virtual box in your PC. Okay, so let me show how to install it. Once you enter in the Google Chrome, okay, you have to search for virtual box in Google search bar. Virtual box, and you click enter. Okay, you can see. The first option, okay, right? Oracle VM Virtual Box. Okay, you have to click the first option. Okay, first option. Okay, you can see this is the official website of the Virtual Box. This is the interface of the Virtual Box website. Okay, on the left side, you can see right the download option. So you have to click it on option, and you can see here the five platform. Okay, you have five platform to install the Virtual Box, but for now. We have to download the first option, which is Windows Host. Okay, you have to download the Windows Host. Okay, but now I don't install it because I already installed my PC. So let me show it the Virtual Box. So guys, this is the Virtual Box. This is the interface of the Virtual Box that I already installed in my PC. So now I'm going to show you how to create new folder in your Virtual Box. So let's get started. For create a new folder, you have to click the button new button with the big blue button. Okay, you have to click the new option. So first of all, to create a you create a new folder, you have to name it. You have to name the new folder. So I have to name Windows Seven. Okay, alright. So I click the name Windows Seven. Once you create the name for the new folder, just click on the next button. You can see the option memory size. For the memory size, you do not need to do anything. The virtual box automatically uh, automatically set the memory size. So you just click on the next. And the hard disk also same. You do not need to do anything. Just click on the create hard disk file types. It's also same. You have to just click on the next button. And storage on physical hard disk. It's also same. You just click on the next button. For the last option, which is file location size, it's also same. You don't need to do anything. The Visual Box will automatically create uh, set the uh, file location. You so you just create. Once you click on the create the new folder, our new folder will create it. So you can see our new folder, which is Windows Seven, successfully created. So you can see there's an option for general system display storage audio network USB share folders description. So successfully we create the new folder for the Windows Seven. So finally that's all from me for today. I hope you guys will get clear explanation on how to install the virtual box at your own. It's very easy. You can install and create the new folder in Virtual Box within few minutes. So let me invite my teammate Vinoshan Kartikeyan to take over our presentation on how to run Guest OS, which is second in operating system in Virtual Box. And thanks to all for watch my presentation. Thanks to Yogandas for giving a good explanation. For today, I'm Vinoshan Kartikeyan, going to explain you about. How to install Windows 7 operating system using this Visual Box? Now let me open the Visual Box and click New and name it Windows 7. 
and will allocate around 8 GB of RAM. Create a virtual hard disk VDI and select dynamically allocated and leave it as 32 GB for the hard disk and finally the virtual machine is created. Let's see the settings once. Click system then select processor to change the CPU to 4 unit. The storage is 32 GB but the actual size of my laptop hard disk is only 2 MB. Then we review the rest then click OK below. All seems to be fine and let me start the virtual machine to continue this startup. Let me se select the Windows 7 that I already downloaded earlier. So here it is. Now, okay. now click start. It's loading. Okay, we have to wait for it. Okay. Now it's open ready. Then we have to select the language. Then click next. We have to install it now. Okay. The setup is starting. Okay. It's open ready. Then we have to uh, I accept the license terms. Okay. Now we are ready to installing the copy of window so we have to choose custom ok now it's installing the windows ok now the windows 7 installation is done now let me go to the final setup ok we have to leave the skip the skip this all ok we have to select use and recommend settings and we have to select uh, our time and click next then we have to click the home network okay now it's loading we have to wait okay we are in the final stage Okay, now the Windows 7 operating system is built and ready. Mm. So we can see the information here the RAM, storage, CPU, and the operating system. All okay, now I'm going to install the packet tracer in this Windows 7 operating system. Okay, okay, we have to. Before that, we have to download the Microsoft Edge first. Okay, we have to click this. Okay. Okay, it's downloaded already. We have to search search the Cisco Packet tra Tracer app. Okay. Here we can see a lot of options. We have to select one first. Okay, now let's download the Cisco packet tracer here. Okay. okay, you can see it's downloading. Okay, it's downloaded already. Now I'm going to install it in this Windows 7 OS. Okay, we can accept the all and then click next. Okay, it's now installing. We have to wait. Okay, finally, it's successfully installed. Now I'm going to launch this app in this Windows 7. 
that's all from us okay finally i'm going to shut down this windows 7 operating system okay now we can see the windows 7 is still running and okay it's power of ready okay that's all from me and yogandas about the user manual of windows 7 through virtualbox thank you so much for listening to us